now let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Bobby, the, the tropics are a little more active uh, with some systems that we really need to keep an eye on. Yeah, it, we, we had a little lull and now we're getting some lift in the atmosphere and we're watching two systems. This one, which is out in the Eastern Caribbean, will likely end up doing something like coming up towards the western part of Cuba, but not developing as much. These models don't do much with it. This one, and that's actually a pretty decent area, that's going to drift over towards Yucatan and then I think a lot of it ends up back out in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. As a matter of fact, let me show you here. The chance of development right now is about 70%. You can see there's a lot of convection with it. It actually has pretty good outflow as well, too. So I do think this has a really decent chance of at least being a depression. And you can see the forecast models are drifting it out towards the northwest, but then back down towards the southwest Gulf of Mexico. That would be best case scenario for us. The second system, and let me show you on the GFS model. There's the first one. You can see it there. This is Saturday. The second system, and it's really tough to see, it's kind of south of Cuba at this point, and then trying to drift northward by the time we get towards Wednesday. So if that were to happen, it looks like we would get some moisture, especially south Florida. Uh, but right now, that's kind of up in the air. I'm not overly worried about these right now. If either gets a name, and the front runner would be more likely to do that. <laughs> Remember, we're in the Greek alphabet, so gamma would be the next name on the list. And you can stay on top of what's happening in the tropics and make sure that you are prepared. Just text tropics to the number right there on your screen and we will send you a link to our 10 Tampa Bay Hurricane Headquarters straight to your phone.